Respected friends, dear colleagues, it gives me great pleasure to attend the 11th Moscow Conference on International Security at the invitation of Minister Sergei Shagou. I want to first congratulate on the convening of the conference and thank the Russian side for your thoughtful arrangements. The world has entered a new period of turbulence and change. In view of the changes of the world, of our times, and of the trajectory of history, President Xi Jinping put forward the Global Security Initiative, GSI, advocating the vision of common, comprehensive, cooperative, and sustainable security, and a new path to security featuring dialogue over confrontation, partnership over alliance, and win-win over zero-sum. The initiative is warmly welcomed by the international community. Based on that, China released the Global Security Initiative concept paper in February. The document identifies the priorities, platforms, and mechanisms of cooperation and is highly action-oriented. This major initiative is China's proposal for solving security challenges and preserving world peace. The Chinese side looks forward to joining hands with other countries to implement the GSI and bring more stability and positive energy to a world of change and disorder. Firstly, the GSI carries people's hope for peace. In today's world where countries are inter inter interdependent, Peace needs to be pursued and defended by all, and no one can stand aloof. We call on all countries to cherish and maintain peace, play a positive role for global security and stability, and foster a more just and equitable international order. As a responsible major country, China actively participates in practices of global security governance, including arms control, vessel protection, counterterrorism, assistance and relief, and epidemic response. The Chinese military is a key force in the United Nations peacekeeping operations. China's blue helmets have participated in UNPKOs in over 20 countries and regions. We are ready to work together with other countries to fulfill our international obligations and contribute our, sh our share to building and maintaining world peace. Secondly, the GSI embodies aspiration of countries for harmonious coexistence. As all countries live in the same global village with growing interactions, it is only natural for them to encounter frictions here and there. The key, however, is to resolve disagreements through candid communication. China always advocates enhancing mutual trust, building consensus and overcoming differences, and properly handling disagreements through dialogue. We are committed to promoting peace talks and building greater international consensus to solve differences, be it the Afghan issue, the Syrian issue, the Korean Peninsula issue, the Ukraine crisis, or the Iranian nuclear issue. Since March this year, China has facilitated talks between Saudi Arabia and Iran and their signing of a joint statement on restoring diplomatic relations. This is a fruit of dialogue and peace. Thirdly, the Global Security Initiative bears the humanity's pursuit of a common development. Poverty is the source of chaos. For emerging markets and developing countries, development is the biggest security. 
China always opposes promoting common security through common development and believes that no country or individual should be left behind as we pursue development. The Chinese people have found the Chinese path to modernization through painstaking trials. China's growth would not have been possible without international cooperation, and we will continuously generate new opportunities for the world with our new development. In the past decade, China's contribution to global economic growth averaged over 30 percent. The Belt and Road Initiative has become a widely welcomed international cooperation platform. We welcome countries in the world to take the express train of China's development and share the benefits together. Friends and colleagues, security and development are the basic rights and interests every country deserves rather than privileges reserved for a few. Bullying behaviors of containing and suppressing other countries' development not only contradict with the way economy grows, but also find no support. Hegemonic practices of imposing one's own will on others and blatantly interfering, interfering in other countries' internal affairs is drawing increasingly strong opposition and rejection from the international community. Such erroneous acts deprive other countries of their legitimate rights to development and autonomy and are the root causes of chaos and instability in the world. The Taiwan question is China's internal affair and brooks no external interference. China's reunification is the trend of history. Playing with fire on the Taiwan question and attempting to use Taiwan to contain China are doomed to fail. For a more just world, we need to stand in solidarity to reject willful power politics. For a more secure world, we need to support each other to reject long-arm global military hegemony. For a more inclusive world, we need to come together to, re to reject containment and suppression by hook or by crook. Dear friends and colleagues, the Chinese military is a staunch force for world peace. We stand ready to comprehensively deepen practical cooperation with militaries of other countries and practice the GSI together. Firstly, China will continuously enhance military, security and strategic mutual trust with other countries. We have carried out military exchanges with over 150 countries. The China-Russia Comprehensive Strategic Partnership of Coordination for the New Era continues to grow, and the China-Russia military relationship has become a prime example of cooperation featuring no alliance, no confrontation, and not targeting any third party. We are willing to strengthen exchanges with the militaries of other, other countries, deepen military cooperation with ASEAN members and other neighboring countries, elevate military relationship with European countries and the EU, and consolidate traditional friendship with the militaries of African, Latin American, and Caribbean and the South Pacific countries. We will keep expanding our circle of friends based on equality, mutual trust and win-win cooperation. Secondly, China will continuously advance the building of security cooperation platforms. China has established over 50 defense consultation mechanisms with more than 40 countries and organizations. 
we will continue to support the institutional building of the Conference on Interaction and conference building, Confidence Building Measures in Asia. We will actively participate in multilateral mechanisms, including the MCIS, the ASEAN Defense Ministers Meeting Plus, and the Shangri-La Dialogue, and hold the China-Africa Peace and Security Forum and the China-Latin America High-Level Defense Forum on a regular basis. We will further advance the security cooperation mechanisms of the Shanghai Cooperation Organization and actively deepen defense cooperation with new member Iran and member-to-be Belarus. China will host the Beijing Xiangshan Forum this October. Here, I'd like to sincerely invite you to attend the forum in China. Thirdly, China will continuously strengthen practical cooperation in professional fields. The Chinese side will deepen cooperation with militaries of other countries on high-tech, weaponry and equipment, logistic support, international counterterrorism, military academies, military culture, and public health. We will continue to do our best to help militaries of other, of other countries in need. China is willing to carry out joint exercises and training with other countries and explore the possibility of further extending the area of exercises. We will work with other countries to enhance cooperation on international arms control and non-proliferation, jointly meet non-traditional security challenges concerning space, cyberspace, biology, and artificial intelligence, and provide more public goods for world peace and stability. Friends and colleagues, as a Russian proverb goes, the road to success is always bumpy and tortuous. And the Chinese people often say, tread stumbling bumps into stepping stones. As long as we join hands and stride toward peace with determination, we can for sure overcome all difficulties and obstacles and make new and greater contributions to world peace. Thank you very much.